Now let's work on that curved area right in here. And before I think I was thinking that this would be that internal edge, that bottom of the crease, but now I'm not so sure. I don't think it's going to be. I don't think it should be. So I'm going to take this area and just move it up just a little bit like this. So it isn't going to be the the bottom of the trench there of, of that crease. That's going to be coming out of this. Let's give that a try. So what I want to do is maybe take these points here. And I'm going to go to Control-Alt-Q. And I'm going to duplicate them and bring them over just ever so slightly so they are the bottom of that crease. I want to move these over just a little bit. Like this and like this. Yeah, so now I'm going to take these right here and maybe move this over just a little. There we go. So I'm going to take these now, these points right here, and duplicate it. Shift D, and I'll pull them in the X. And then I'm going to bring them down some. I'll click and drag and bring these down just a hair. So there is the bottom of that trench there. Now we can take this and begin creating that loop around down here like that. This, this right here, this loop right here. So let's do that. Let's hit E, bring this up to here. We're going to need to move these in the top view each time, I think. Hit E and move this to here. Move it over in the X just a bit. E, and now let's begin turning these down like this. And I'm going to bring this out some. And E. And bring this out some. So you can see what I'm doing. I'm kind of moving these toward the exterior part of the door there. And I think, I think we're on to something here. <laughs> Let's move these toward that door. This is a really interesting and tricky shape to get, but I think we can do it. I'm going to hit E and move this. And then I'm going to keep going down here like this, trying to match up each of these points. We may dissolve these edges sooner or later, but for now I'm going to go ahead and, and match them up. All right, so where's this one? This one could. Come out a little bit more like this. There we go. Okay, so now we've got this area here. And I think for now what I'd like to do is go ahead and connect these up. So this, let's say, let's hit F. And then let's start bringing these up and just see how it looks. I'm going to select these two first and then hit F and move these up like this. And then... Let's do one more. I'll hit F here. Now I'm going to tab back into object mode, go to Control Alt Q to get out of quad view, and I'm going to turn on the subdivisions. And it looks like we're just going to have to bring these out a little bit more, like they're not quite lined up, right? So it looks like I could take all of these and just bring them out just a little bit more like this. In fact, I think what I'll do is go ahead and align them in the x-axis with s x zero and then i'll bring them out just a little bit more like this let's see how that does yeah so that helps there okay so i'll turn the subdivisions off again go back into edit mode and now i could maybe move these in just a bit like this and then we need to create a new edge around here for the top part of the fender here. So let's do that. Let's uh, alt click this edge here and alt shift click this. So now we have that whole edge there. Let's control alt Q for quad view and let's duplicate this and move it out now. So shift D and X and I'm gonna move it out. And maybe I will turn it a bit. Let's see, we're in active element pivot mode here. So if I took this point up here, shift and shift click again, we'll 
rotate from that point. So I'll hit R and rotate it back in just a little bit. You can see that top part is still in the center here. Let me go back to the top. So that's in the center, right? And these could begin coming out more like this. Let's do that. Kind of aiming this way. There we go. And then we need to push it forward a bit, right? This edge now needs to be further up, I think, than the crease was. So let's shift click this again. So we're now scaling from the active element here and let's press S and Y and scale that forward just a bit. And I'll hold the shift key to slow down that movement and maybe something like this. I'll press Alt Z so we can see it. Yeah, that's about right here. And then we need to scale this up. So let me select this point here, shift click, shift click again, and I'm gonna scale it up in the Z, S Z, and move this up just a bit like this to the where the drawing is, something like this. I'll move this one back down. And then we can move these up a bit. So let me tumble around and see where we are. Yeah, we've got to grab these here. So I think these could come up a bit. Let's see, I'll alt click this, go back to the side view. Well, that's not bad actually. It's up high enough up here. Uh, it could be higher along here, couldn't it? Let's bring that up. And this one could be up higher like this. Maybe we'll do that with this one as well. Okay. And if we selected these, let me reselect this point back here. Alt click this, shift click, and there we go. Get that point in there. And I want to bring it back just a little bit. S, Y. And bring it back in just a little bit like that. Maybe we could grab a few of these and bring these back in like this. Okay, let's take a look at it. Tab back into object mode. The edges are a little bit out of alignment. I can see that. But we could go ahead and connect them up and see how it looks. Let's do that. Um, first of all, I'll take this and this and this, these four, and hit F. And then take these four here, hit F, and then take these two and hit F back up to here. Let's take these four, hit F, and then let's see if we can bring these up like this. Hit the F key and bring these up like this. Let's see if we can bring it on around. No, we gotta close it off here. And then select these two again. Hit F and bring these all the way around like this. There we go. We could close up these. And we could close up these. So let's just see how we're doing here. See what we need to do. Tab back into object mode. Let's turn on the subdivision modifier. And look at that. We're just beginning to get that crease in there. Now this one looks bad and I think it's because we may have flipped something or we could right click this and choose shade smooth and no I think there's a problem let's come up to our viewport overlays face orientation and yep sure enough that's flipped so let's just take these two faces mesh normals and flip there we go now I think Let's turn those back off. That's actually doing pretty good. We're getting there. Let's tab back in here. And uh, I will control R and add a point right here. And then we'll select those, hit F. And we'll do these, F. And we'll do these here. There we go. We can close those up. And then we're going to need to insert some edges here. I can insert one right here and close these up 
here. Let's do that. Then we will need to insert another one or get rid of this one. Let's take a look at where this one goes. Well, that one's fairly important, I think, because that helps create that shape on the front of the fender there. So I don't think we could lose that one. Could we lose this one? No, that's right up on the edge, right up on the front there. We can't lose that one. So we are probably going to need two edge loops, or, or excuse me, one more in here. So I'll press Control R and then add one in here. Let's hit F, select these four, and hit F. All right, let's take a look at it. I feel like these are awfully close together to get a nice curve. But we could try, we could uh, take this, control click this, and move it out a bit. We could take this and hit G two times and slide it a bit. Maybe this as well. Slide that over some. And this. And this, and move it over toward that fender like this. There we go. Let's see how that works. Well, we're getting there. Actually, that's uh, beginning to make me think that we can do this. <laughs> but you see what I mean, how you can begin creating one part, and as you move it and evolve into that problem area, you begin to see the issues. You begin to see the structure of it in a new way. So in the next video, we're going to go ahead and try and complete this and bring it on around to the tire well here on the fender.